welcome back to my channel and this is Juliet from Juliet's Corner and today's video I'm gonna show you how to print um, using the easy sublicizer with a sublimation printer that I got wow. right now. I have this design that I'm going to print using the easy sublicizer or the sizer easy subli paper so this thing it's not a regular ink but it's a sublimation ink so here is the paper that I'm going to use to print the design from the computer this paper is called the Sizer easy sublimation HTV vinyl or heat transfer vinyl so um, I'm gonna show you real quick this part is like a rough part this one goes the ink on this side and then at the back side it's a glossy thing after you print you gotta peel off the uh, plastic one so when you print make sure do not mirror the design because it's gonna print directly here on the rough part and then you're just gonna press this like this on your fabric so I'm gonna show you real quick so here's my printer so I'm gonna put it like this the glossy on top or the rough part is facing the bottom and then And then on the printer, I picked the size is 8.4 by 11, but there is no option. So I picked the letter size, which is 8.5 by 11, and then I picked the presentation mat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and print it from my computer. So now it's printing and it says the paper size and type set in cassette does not match with the specified print setting because there is no option for 8.4 the size is 8.4 so I hit next and then I hit this one the current one oh hold on cancel sorry let me print it again so I redo the printing because I'm not supposed to hit the cur the the other option which is and there you go so it says the paper size and typeset in cassette does not match so next and then I'm I have to print this one which is print with paper setting the other one is print with specified print setting so I'm gonna choose this one because this one is the plain paper I want to print the current one and then just hit install I just play with it just now so I print um, I print the the first sample it looks so it looks like this it looks like it it's not that dark or like vibrant but once you press it in, in the heat press it's gonna go like you know um, dark or more on vibrant color so I'm gonna show you um, the step you know the next uh, step for this after printing you have to cut this design before you press it in the shirt so before I proceed in cutting, I just did a while ago this shirt. So I don't know if you can read it, but the color it's so vibrant and this fabric is 50 or 48 polyester and 52 52 cotton. 
so it's more on you know dark and you can feel the the paper thing the easy subly paper so let let's go ahead and cut the one that I print so I have the um, I have the design already what I do is I can cut it manually so I'm gonna try one first into a 50 50 with uh, fabric which is 50% cotton and 50% polyester you have to have patience on this one So here is the design. Here it is the design. So it's not that. Oh my goodness. I didn't see it. You see, you have to be very careful with the ink. So I need to get another one. So I need to cut another one because it's me it, it is messed up now. So don't touch the don't touch the the ink or probably you have to wait for a couple of minutes. Give give until like probably 5 to 10 minutes to absorb the ink. So I didn't I didn't realize that I messed up the design. This is my first time doing this. I mean, this is my first time using the sublimation um, printer so here is my design I already cut it and then let's just give it a couple of minutes to dry up the ink because looks what happened all right so let me grab the shirts and I'll be right back so this is the shirts that I'm going to use. Um, this is just a sample order. So it's light blue color. And then I'm going to put it right here. Okay, again. So you have to press your shirt with um, the sublimation, the Sizer Easy Subly HTV. For 311 degrees Fahrenheit for 16 seconds okay so here is our shirt let me go ahead So this is the design. You have to peel the plastic part. And you have to put, since this is not mirrored, you have to put it like this. I'll show you.
so if you if you would like to order a state shirt just go into my um, Instagram account at design by Juliet or my Facebook page design at design by Juliet so you can message me this one is um, New York State and I'm gonna make a couple like probably Texas and we'll put it I am um, this is just my sample color I'm just trying out with the burgundy and it looks it turns turn out good so I'm planning to make for black and white also so just leave a comment if do you think black or white color of the shirt is nice and then if it's white then I'm gonna make this vinyl a black color and then if it's white I mean if it's white shirt then I'm gonna make black vinyl if it's um, black then I'm gonna use the white vinyl color so there you go just send me a message DM me I don't have the website yet but I'm planning to have soon actually by the way I have my Etsy account and there's nothing much in there just one shirt I guess it's a customized shirt um, for the birthday um, my Etsy account is um, at design by Juliet or you can leave a comment I'm gonna double check and I'll reply um, your my link to your comment so I just want to show you real quick this is the other one those are the easy subly sizer and then this is the second one the the state shirt that I showed you it's made of vinyl so it's a different thing okay so I guess that's it for today and if you would like to order just go on my uh, business page just send me a message Everyone before and I then um, if you before I end this video I would like to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel who keeps watching my channel and um and if you know that this video helped you please give a huge thumbs up share this video and don't forget to click your uh, bell notification on so i'll keep you posted just leave your comment if you have any question or if you want to purchase leave the comment down below and and see you next time bye